I'm sure that sounds familiar to some of you. Hi, I'm Rob, and welcome to RBND Reviews. Uh, that is the theme from the popular soap opera TV series Dark Shadows, which ran from 1966 until 1971, and it spawned two feature films in the early 70s. Uh, one of them I'm going to be reviewing today. It is The House of Dark Shadows. Uh, the series and the films are, are set in uh, Collinsport, Maine, and it focuses on the Collins family, their lives, and the history of the family, and it features stuff like vampires, werewolves, witches, warlocks, secret affairs, and uh, secret rooms that are located in old houses, and of course su uh, other supernatural elements. And since Tim Burton is going to be uh, making a new film based on the TV series starring John E. Depp as the vampire Barnabas Collins, I decided I'm going to be reviewing this movie as part of my uh, horror movie reviews this month. Alright, so let's get started on my review of House of Dark Shadows. Uh, it stars many of the actors who appeared in the show, including uh, Jonathan Fred as uh, the vampire Bonus Collins. Here's my, I dug up my mom's old soundtrack from the TV show. Uh, right here, but yeah, this is, uh, it stars Jonathan Fred as Barnabas Collins, and Barnabas has been chained into his coffin for over 200 years, and when the Collins groundskeeper accidentally opens uh, his coffin up, a huge series of events happen to the Collins family. Barnabas Collins uh, goes to the Collins house, claiming to be a long-lost relative from England, and when he meets Maggie Evans, who is the younger Dave Collins' uh, tutor, she bears a striking resemblance to Barnabas' lost love, and plans to make her uh, his wife for all eternity. I guess I kind of have my mom to thank for introducing me to Dark Shadows. Um, I remember, I do remember her pulling this record soundtrack out one time for the TV show, and I kind of became interested with the backstory and the pictures that are on the like back. Like a lot of people I read about, when she was in school, she would rush home to catch the show. Uh, so she could pretty much tell you all about the characters and the storylines. But for House of Dark Shadows, you do not have to have seen an episode to understand the concept. Uh, with the show, since it was a five-day-a-week soap opera, the stories developed slowly with each character. Uh, but here is a more of an abridged version of several episodes. It moves at a much faster pace. And what struck me as the best part about the movie, as well as the TV show, was the music, which was uh, put together by Robert Colbert. Uh, it has a very um, atmospheric, scary atmospheric texture to it that I think can make one's hairs on the neck stand up. And it, here's the interesting thing. He uses all different kinds of instruments for all different occasions, whether it be something, you know, scary or something romantic. He really does a good job at making the mood of the show and the film work. And because of a small budget, uh, this film was shot on location in a lot of older houses, and it, was, it kind of reminded me of those British horror movies that were shot in the late 60s, which took advantage of shooting those movies on location as w in older buildings as well. Uh, this movie was kind of shot almost in a documentary style, uh, where very little special lighting is used, like when, a, for example, when a character enters a dark room in an empty building, I can imagine that's what it would look like if we were there. And the sound is also mostly shot on the set without the use of what they call ADR, where actors go in later and they dub their dialogue in a studio to make it sound cleaner instead of using the dialogue that was shot on set, which might have an echoey room and creaks and stuff like that. You know, something that would distract an audience. But here, I think it really helps create the feeling that the audience, including myself, I felt was in the room with. Um, I give the film credit for trying to appeal to different audiences. It has uh, two stor different storylines going on. Uh, you have Barnabas Collins' love story, long lost love story, and then you have this sort of Dracula bloody story to go along. Um, I think they did it because two different audiences were going to go see it. You know, you had fans of the soap opera, which usually with soap operas, it's mostly a woman audience, you know, and then there was the other storyline, I guess they did for husbands or for boyfriends who got, who got dragged to see this movie. Um, but I think both ways it, it really does work, and, it, and this movie also includes a graphic vampire um, ex exorcism. And House of Dark Shadows does have some familiar horror elements, like you have, like here you have the groundskeeper named Willie. Groundskeeper Willie! <laughs> no, his name is really Willie, and he sort of becomes a Igor to Barnabas Collins as the film progresses, and um, you also have uh, Professor Stokes, who is sort of like the Van Helsing character who wants to go out and fight the vampire menace. And with the characters, I think Barnabas Collins was the only one in the movie that was developed here. And I liked how the film explained his backstory without making it sound like exposition dialogue. I was kind of disappointed that 
Carolyn Stoddard, who I guess would be my favorite character from the TV show, wasn't really developed very well here. I mean, if you watch the TV show, she has much more personality uh, than in the movie. And of the acting, the acting was also pretty good. Jonathan Frid was excellent as Barnabas Collins. He brings this sort of elegant, mysterious quality to the part. And unlike Dracula, he hates that the, he has to feed on people in order to survive, and he does not really want to harm people. Now, House of Dark Shadows, um, on, it was released on video. I got my mom's old videotapes. I've been borrowing a lot of stuff from my mom uh, for this video. But, um, yeah, it got released on video, but it's not available on DVD, although I did find that there's some places where you can check it out. Here, I got, I got the list right here. Um, if you want to see House of Dark Shadows, um, there's uh, different ways to go about it. Um, Amazon Unbox has the movie, and I went on to iTunes, before I shot this video, and they got the soundtrack um, on there. My mom eventually went out and bought a copy of this album on CD. So if you're interested in Dark Shadows, and before you go see Johnny Depp film, if you want to get a taste of what it's like, I definitely recommend checking out the music and maybe checking out the movie, but I think the TV show is better. But like I said, it's a soap opera. I mean, they're all out. All the episodes are on DVD, but there's like 1,200 or something like that. But, you know... House of Dark Shadows, it may not be a, you know, big budget horror flick with a lot of, you know, interesting characters, but I definitely think it's a very good atmospheric movie, and I think it worked, uh, movie, and it does very well. So that's my review of the House of uh, Dark Shadows, so feel free to leave any comments, and if you are any Dark Shadow fans that might have seen it when it first came out on TV, you know, leave your comments about maybe who your favorite character was, or what you think of the movies, if you have seen the movies. And like I said, uh, Amazon, what was it, Amazon Unbox, sorry, <laughs> Amazon Unbox has, a, has a Dark Shadows and its sequel, Night of Dark Shadows, on there.